Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do lines and angles, chapter 16, the multiple choice type. Page number 205, question 6. In the given figure, BA is parallel to CE. So let's write that, BA is parallel to CE. And the angle ABC is what we need to find, that is this angle ABC. That is the one in green is what we need to find out. Now, how is this related to any of the angles here? Now, this is a transversal and these two are the parallel lines. So, BD is the transversal. Let's write that. BD is the transversal. Now, the transversal is cutting the two parallel lines. That means angle B will be equal to uh, angle B plus this angle here. That is this angle in green. That is 50 degrees plus this small part which we will name it as angle 1. So, let this be angle 1. So, if I add up 50 degrees and angle 1 and add up angle B to it, they become co-interior angles. So, let's write that. That is angle B plus angle 1 plus angle 50 degrees plus 50 degrees will all be equal to 180 degrees because they are co-interior angles. Now, we have to find this out, isn't it? So, here what we'll do is first we need to find out angle 1. Now look at these three angles, 60 degrees plus 50 degrees plus angle 1. They're all on the same straight line. So straight line angles add up to 180 degrees. So 60 degrees plus 50 degrees plus angle 1 will be equal to 180 degrees. So let's write that. 60 degrees plus 50 degrees plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees and what's the reason they are straight line angles now from this we can find out angle 1 so 180 degrees plus angle 1 is equal to this is 110 degrees 110 degrees plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees now we can find the value of angle 1 that is 180 minus 110 which is 70 degrees so now we know angle 1 is 70. So this is 70. So now from this we can find angle B from this what we have written here. So let's write that down again. So this is angle B plus angle 1 plus 50 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now this I have taken straight from this. So now let's find the value of angle B by substituting angle B plus angle 1 we found it out to be 70 plus 50 is equal to 180. So from this, what do we know? Angle B plus 70 plus 50 is 120 degrees. This is equal to 180 degrees. So now we can find the value of angle B. That is equal to 180 degrees minus 120. So angle B is equal to 60 degrees. So this is our answer 60 degrees and that is option 2 60 degrees. Option 2 60 degrees is our answer. Question 7. In the given figure AB is parallel to CD. So we have AB parallel to CD. So let's write that down. AB is parallel to CD. Now we have to find the value of this angle X. Now this angle X is on this line on this space here formed between this line and the parallel line. Now this line, if that had extended all the way to CD, we could have taken that as a transversal, but it is not a transversal. Similarly, this line is also not cutting AB, so we can't take that as a transversal. So now what do we do? We are going to draw a line in such a way that there's one more parallel line here. So this parallel line comes this way. So can you see now it is going through O, so now this parallel line, we can name it as L here and O. So this parallel line, L, O is parallel to AB. So we'll show that it's parallel to AB. It's also parallel to CD. Now let's take only these two parallel lines. Then you can see that this is a transversal. If you take only these two parallel lines, you can see that this is a transversal. So L, O is the line that is parallel to both A, B and C, D. Now, we need to find angle X. Now, to find angle X, we have to see whether it is related to some angle here. 
Now, because these are two parallel lines, we have to consider only these two lines to see if x is related to any of these. Now, this angle that you see 95 degrees is not only for that portion, it's for the whole portion. So, let me shade that and show it to you. So, angle 95 is for the portion above the blue line and below the blue line. So, above the blue line, if, if you know the value, angle x and that will be corresponding angles. It will be the same value. So, we need to find that value. So, what we are going to do is we are going to name these two as two different angles. So, we call this angle 1. So, this portion of the 95 degrees, this portion is 1 and this portion we will call it 2. That means if you add up angle 1 plus angle 2, you will get 95 degrees. Only when you add up both these angles. That is angle 1 plus angle 2 will give us 90, 95 degrees which is shown here. Now how do we do that? Let's look at these two parallel lines to see whether we can find out something from this angle that is given to us. Now look at angle 1 and this angle here. This angle in red and this portion that is angle 1. Angle 1 and this angle are co-interior angles because they are on two parallel lines cut by a transversal. So we have to find the value of this angle that is in red. Now look at this 130. 130 and this angle in red will be vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are equal. So we can say 130 is equal to 130 because they are vertically opposite angles. So I can write 130 here. Now if you see this 130 and angle 1 are co-interior angles. That means they add up to 180 degrees. So to help you understand better, I have shown only this part here. So 130 and angle 1 are co-interior angles because these are two parallel lines and cut by a transversal. So angle 30 plus angle 1 will be equal to 180 degrees because they are co-interior angles. So let's do that. Let's find out the value of angle 1 from this. So angle 1, angle 1 is equal to 180 minus 130. So that is equal to 50 degrees. So we have now found the value of angle 1 and that is 50 degrees. That means here, what I have here is 50 degrees. So the value is 50 degrees. That means, let's go back to this. If this is 50, we can find out the value of angle 2 by subtracting it from 95, isn't it? So 95 degrees minus angle 1 will give us angle 2. So now we can find the value of angle 1. We already have it here as 50 degrees. Let's substitute 95 minus angle 1 is 50 degrees. And this gives us angle 2. And what is the value of angle 2? 95 minus 50 is 45. So angle 2 is 45 degrees. That means this side is 45 and this side is 50 degrees. So together, remember we said angle 1 plus angle 2 will add up to 95 degrees. So angle 2 is now 45 degrees. That is this portion alone. So I'll draw that separately and show it to you. So we have this portion here. That is only this top part. I have taken only the top part with A, B and we also have L and O. I have taken only that portion. Now look at angle 2. We know that angle 2 is 45 degrees. So angle 2 and angle X, they are on the transversal where the two parallel lines are there cut by the transversal. So these are the two parallel lines and this is cut by the transversal. So we know the property angle X and angle 2 are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. That means the value of angle x is 45 degrees because angle 2 is 45 degrees. So we can say that we can say x is equal to angle 2 and what is the reason? They are corresponding angles. That means x is equal to the same value as angle 2 and angle 2 is 45 degrees. So x is also 45 degrees. So this is our answer and that is option 4. Option 4, 45 degrees is our answer. Question 8. In the given figure, BA is parallel to DC. So we have BA 
and DC which are parallel to each other and MN is a transversal. So this line MN is a transversal that's cutting these two parallel lines. So we have that given to us BA is parallel to DC and MN is a transversal. Now we are asked to find angle A. So now there are different ways to find angle A. Now if we take this angle and this angle you can see they are two angles on a straight line that means they are a linear pair and a linear pair will add up to 180. So we can say a plus 3x minus 20 is equal to 180 but we can't do that because we don't know the value of x and we don't know the value of a. So there are two unknowns so we cannot use that. Now we can say a and this angle 5x are alternate angles exterior alternate angles and they are equal but again here we have x which is unknown and a which is unknown you cannot work with two unknowns so first thing we have to do is find the value of x now how do we find the value of x so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the angle that is vertically opposite this 5x here that is this angle so now can you see this 5x and this angle will be equal why they'll be equal because they're vertically opposite angles so this is also 5x so we can consider this also to be 5x they're vertically opposite and so they're equal now why did we do that now we can relate this 5x to this angle which is 3x minus 20 degrees so this angle and 5x will now become co-interior angles so 3x minus 20 and this angle 5x in red, the two angles in red are now co-interior angles. And what do we know about co-interior angles? They are supplementary. That means they will add up to 180. So let's write that. That is 3x minus 20 degrees plus 5x. This is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are co-interior angles. So now we can solve for x. So let's solve for x and see 3x plus 5x is 8x minus 20 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's find the value of 8x. 8x is equal to 180 plus 20. 8x is equal to 200. Now let's find the value of x. x is equal to 200 by 8. So here you can cancel 8 ones and 8 into 25. So we have found the value of x. x is equal to 25 degrees. So we have found the value of x. Now let's find the value of 5x. This 5x or this 5x. We can take this 5x. That is the vertically opposite angle here. And here 5x. Let's find the value. So 5x will be 5 into x. That is 5 into 25 which is 125 degrees. So now we have found the value of this angle. That is this angle in green and that is equal to 125 degrees. Now, if you look at angle A and 5x, they are alternate angles. So now can you see angle A will be equal to this angle that is 125 degrees. So we can say angle A is equal to 125 degrees. And what is the reason? They are alternate angles. So now we have found our answer. A angle A is equal to 125 degrees and that is option 2. Option 2, 125 degrees. Question 9. In the given figure, AB is parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. And PQ is parallel to RO. PQ is parallel to RO. Okay, so let's write that. Now, these two lines, let's extend it so that you will get an idea clearly. So I can extend this line and this line here. So that makes it easier for us to understand, isn't it? Now, here we are asked to find the value of angle A. Now, A is here. This angle is here. Now, if we take only this portion, we can see two parallel lines cut by this transversal, isn't it? That means this angle A should be connected to some other angle here for us to find out the value of A. But here it's not related to any other angle. There's no other angle given here. So how do we do this? So we are going to take the help of this angle 68. Let's see what we can do with this angle. 
Now here in this case we take only these two parallel lines. That is, we are taking these two parallel lines cut by this transversal and we have this angle 68 here. Now, if I put that same angle here, they become alternate angles and they are equal. Or if I put that angle here, they become corresponding angles and they become equal. I can also take it here and make it co-interior angles and they will add up to 180 and I can get this value. Then I can get this value by saying vertically opposite angles. So I can use any one of these properties to find one of these missing angles. So which one will we take? The easiest will be to make it alternate angles or here also we can make it corresponding angles. One of these because both will be equal. So now I'm going to take the 68 degrees and this angle here and they are alternate angles based on only these two parallel lines and the transversal AB. So here 68 and this will be equal. So I can write this also as 68 degrees. So let me write that. So 68 degrees is equal to 68 degrees there. Why? Because they are alternate angles. Now I can take this angle now. Now I can look at th these two. 68 and angle A are corresponding angles. And so corresponding angles are equal. So as you can see, 68 and A are corresponding angles. So I can say angle A is equal to 68 degrees and the reason is they are corresponding angles. And that is option 1, 68 degrees. Question 10. The supplement of an angle is 4 times its complement. So we know what supplementary angles are and what complementary angles are. Now we have to find the angle. So let's say, let the angle be x. So in that case, supplement of an angle. Now if this, this is x degrees, supplement will be 180 minus x. 180 degrees minus x. Similarly, complement of the same angle will be 90 degrees minus x. So this is how we find supplementary angles and complementary angles, isn't it? To find supplementary angles, we minus that angle from 180 degrees. To find complementary angles, we subtract it from 90 degrees. Now, what does the question say? The question says supplement of an angle, that is this, is four times its complement, four times this. So, let's write the equation. So, let's write supplement of an angle, that is 180 degrees minus x. This means equals four times its complement. So, what is the complement? We already have it here, 90 degrees minus x. Now, 4 times means we multiply this by 4. So, now we have our equation. We can find the value of x and x is the angle that we have to find out. So, let's simplify this. So, here we have 180 minus x. This is equal to, now we multiply 4 into 90, which is 360. Then we multiply 4 into minus x, which is minus 4x. So, minus 4x. Now, let's bring all the x terms to one side. So, here we already have minus x. Let's transpose minus 4x to the left-hand side. It becomes plus 4x. On the right-hand side, we have 360. Let's transpose 180 to the other side. It becomes minus 180. Now, simplify this. Minus x plus 4x is 3x. 360 minus 180 is 180. Now, let's find the value of x. x is equal to 180 by 3. So, here you can cancel. 3 into 60 is 180. So, value of x. x is equal to 60 degrees. So, that means the angle. The angle that we just found is 60 degrees. So, we can write that here. The angle is 60 degrees. And that is option 3. Option 3, 60 degrees. So with this children, we come to the end of our exercise. Thank you children.